Hey buddy, can I talk to you for like five minutes when you get a chance? Um, yeah, message me on Discord right now, buddy, while I'm in queue. Hurry up. Hey. What's up, buddy? Hey, uh, can I get your take real quick on, uh, the Harvard guy? I think it's pretty much the same as me. I asked you earlier, but... Um, I don't... It makes me uncomfortable when people are, like, mining information out of, like, Word documents or chat logs to send to a school to get somebody kicked out or not accepted. Yeah. Same. Um, yeah, I, I was on... Sean wrote a tweet about it, and I've been... I've been on there today. There are some people that uh, I've been on. Right. My my take is pretty much I, I kind of get that Harvard made the decision to make sense. Um, I feel like they would probably get a lot of bash backlash that they don't need if they didn't. Yeah, at this uh, point, yeah. Make the decision. Uh, but the but I, I was kind of uncomfortable with so many people. Like every person that I followed, except for you, was just dogpiling on this this 18 year old. Yeah, uh, I mean, it made me really the social capital, it's really important to look like you're, like, very good and everything, so, you know, people are going to act like they've always been good throughout all of high school and shit, which, I mean, some of them probably have been, but that's yeah, just yeah. Just, you know. My, uh, yeah, I, I had said, like, I did shitty stuff when I was 16, I think I said the N-word a few times, I've, I've grown and I've learned how, you know, my words can harm people, and, and it's, I've grown since then, and people were saying, like, yeah, you should probably still face consequences for what you did when you were 16, which was, like, eight years ago. Nice. Like, Wait, yeah, did you go to Penn State? Like, no, I, just, I didn't really even go to college. Okay, never mind. I saw somebody arguing in a, in a tweets, and I saw them say that. I didn't, it was sounded similar to yours, but okay. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, that was my take. Um, and uh, it seems like we're on the same page. I don't know. Lots of people just uh, shitting on it. Made me a little uncomfortable to okay. get Harvard's decision. Anyways, that's all. Thanks nice. for uh, thanks for the talk, man. Yeah. Um, one one quick quick little tiny question. Because mm -hmm. uh, you've talked about the 60 or 40 40 20 rule, I think. Is that it? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Um, when when you're when you're debating people you want to try to convince those those 20 what about like when you're when you're talking to your parents because i have i have really conservative parents but they're also very reasonable do you know of any like techniques or methods to to kind of um i don't know uh i, I think probably incremental is is probably going to be the best way to do it but nope no but like with your with your parents like slow maybe slow tiny bits of education and knowledge instead of all at once nope mm, okay that doesn't that doesn't work with your parents that's nope, not they your, haven't changed it at all no yeah yeah my, my mom i've, I've pointed because they're always whenever they, they see like any anybody like kissing like any two guys kissing on like a tv show they'll like oh that's disgusting like guys you can't can't do that that's that's harmful and they usually are like yeah you're right uh we should probably shouldn't do that uh, i don't know anyways that that was just that's another thing and thanks for the talk man yeah, no problem buddy be careful see you later yeah yeah it's so fucking special oh, oh right. hey there what up buddy i just want to meet you straight make sure i'm doing good on that uh so um i guess i just want to talk about the cow kushif shit and I, I saw your tweets or your friend's tweets on it we're still doing that is it still your friend don't worry about it. What's up? Uh, so yeah, so I saw the tweets on it. It seems it seems to me like you take a position that like whether or not you think Harvard made the wrong decision, the the, the like old cats or something that they shouldn't have even considered that he shouldn't be held accountable for him at all in terms of college admissions. Um, I mean Harvard probably made the right decision. There's a lot of bad publicity, so I mean they're kind of forced to do what they did. Yeah. Okay, so what what was your specific issue? Because it did seem like you were being a bit... Um, digging bad. through people's like chat logs to send to colleges to get somebody to not be admitted to college seems pretty shitty. Uh, I mean, maybe on the... You, I think you could probably make the argument on the part of that one girl, but I think she was in those chats. So, I mean... It's like petty. Um, I would probably say it's fucking petty, because... It, you would you would imagine that she is doing it just because like he's a conservative and she doesn't like that. I think if I were privy to like chat logs, especially ones that I was fucking in, where someone was and they get admitted, like they they start getting all this fucking press coverage, they get a job with, but wait, what was he working for? Tw Turning Points USA. I don't know. And he gets so admitted sure. to one of the most one of the most prestigious law schools in in America. 
or not law schools, but one of the most prestigious universities in America. I mean, I, I, I think I'd probably turn those in too. Like that's, it's some fucked up shit that shows some real emotional immaturity that I think Harvard would probably want to know about. You've got tens of thousands of applicants every year who get rejected, who probably are more suited to a Harvard environment. Maybe. Like, I or maybe they, I, I mean, their chat logs are never going to be revealed to Harvard though. Cause they don't have the same level of publicity. Yeah, I, I agree that this is probably not a standard that you would hold someone who's not a public figure to. And it can be argued that because he wasn't a public figure when he made the comments, uh, it might be a little harsh to, which might be, it might not be the right decision to say, you know, you know, he didn't really have the same responsibilities back then. But at the same time, I mean, it's not that long ago. We're not talking about, like, this happened. This, this isn't, you know, the same situation where it's fucking James Gunn. He's making stupid pedophilia tweets fucking... Yeah, that's a separate argument. It's not about how long ago it is. I just don't like the idea of, like, that somebody's, like, chat logs or whatever can be brought up to, like, get them inadmissible to a school. It seems pretty crazy to me. I don't necessarily like that idea either, but, like, it's kind of the same as, like, private conversations being brought up, in, uh, you know, prior to the... Like, Prior to the what? Prior to the eight, you know, prior to when chat logs were a thing that you could bring up, it's kind of like private conversations being brought up, or like yeah, but those private conversations people. probably wouldn't be brought up in the same way, or, or it'd be like much harder. I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like it would be a lot harder to go to a college admission board and be like, hey, by the way, just you know, one time I talked to this guy and he said some racist shit, and so you shouldn't let him into college. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, a, like, unless you have like a recording of it or something, and I, I, I understand that's a like a fringe case, but I mean, it's not so fringe anymore because most of our conversations are fucking recorded, whether in text or. Yeah, of course. This is my whole point. I just think it's kind of scary that like every single thing you do is recorded and shit, and that even if you're like. 16 years old or some shit like you you know you, like your shit is being recorded and you could like fuck like a significant part of your life up these are things that you have to face up. well yeah i mean I, I agree that this is probably not this is like it's scary it's it's something that we're gonna have to get used to though because this is this is the reality now that we, the things that we say and do are recorded uh yeah i mean that's easy for us to say we don't have to deal with it anymore I mean, we're, or I don't know how old you are, but like, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm 26. I still have to. I still. You're not gonna like lose a like college application. I guess you could potentially lose a job because of it, if depending on how crazy you're online. But like, I don't know. You're also like 26, so you're not like a fucking idiot. Whereas at like fucking 16, like I don't know how much wherewithal like a 16, 17 year old has, or even a fucking 18 year old for shit like this. I don't know. Everything in a 16. Well, this is the thing: is when you're being looked at for college admissions, especially. When you're 16, 17, 18, is going to be taken into consideration. You're going to put that shit on your application. You can't, at the same time... Nobody's putting like, their chat logs on their application for college. Wait, what? Chat logs on your application. What I'm saying is that, like, when you say that, like, well, if you're 16, 17, 18, you can't really have the wherewithal. It, what if you're talking about, like, what, they are putting stuff that, like, student projects and student body shit that they did when they were 16, 17, 18. At the same time, couldn't you say that, like, 17, 18, so you probably weren't contributing that much to it because you're stupid as shit. Like... Wait, what? I'm sorry, you're, my coop's cutting out. What did you say there? It seems like it kind of discounts... Uh, it, se it seems like that kind of discounts everything that you would put on a college application, though. Because when you're talking about, like, student body shit, student projects and shit that you... Like, when you were 16, 17, 18... You think I mean, like a, you think like a volunteer people. project that like people are logging hours for and you're showing up to do stuff like that carries the same gravity as like private conversations among like friends? No, oh, what I'm saying is that like by the same token of saying that some stuff that you did when you were 16, 17, 18, you can just say that you know you were dumb as shit and you didn't know any better. Could you just as easily say that like you were dumb as shit? You know, when you're 16, 17, 18, you were probably you know teacher probably made you show up to this shit. You know, so it doesn't count. I don't think teachers make you do like extracurriculars or anything. I, I mean, like, uh, I mean maybe not teach, maybe not teacher, maybe your parents or something like that. I mean, I guess. That, but what's the what is this? What's the point of this, or what is this argument supposed to demonstrate? I guess. What I'm saying is that like you can say that somebody at 16, 17, or 18 is probably too stupid to have that wherewithal to understand like the weight of the words and the you know stupid edgy shit that they say in like private conversations or in chat logs 18 but at the same time doesn't that kind of discount everything else they do um, like, when there's not necessarily but my, my issue isn't necessarily like with the age or the maturity blah 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 it's just the idea that like ha having like every single conversation that could be potentially leaked i think that is like a really high bar to set for for or it seems to be i don't know that, that, that you need to be 
under the assumption that like every single thing you say, even in a private conversation, can be used against you when it comes to determine if you get into a college or not. I don't know. It just seems like really brutal to me. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a brutal thing, but I think if he had handled it better in the backlash, no, probably wouldn't have been resisted. Come on, he didn't even apologize in the initial in the initial like follow up. What well, was the stuff leaked initially? I, I Initially, he didn't apologize for it. He wait, 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 wait. I mean, I mean, was the was the word document initially released with what he said? The word document, which which word document? That showed like what he had typed in. Yeah, when everything came out, what he when what he had said came out, what he published on Twitter was a quick note about the situation where he said the word doc was going around. He didn't apologize for it. All he said was like. That, you know, it was callous language, and you were just trying to be extreme. One, he didn't even acknowledge that it was racist. He just said it was callous. Sure. I, okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. Did did the original chat logs that show what he said leaked initially or no? Uh, wait. So the original chat logs. The original chat logs for what he had said initially. Uh, are we talking like screenshots of yeah, the chat yes, logs? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Actual actual screenshots of the chat logs leaked. They did. Oh, okay. I mean, there. I mean, regard. I, I don't. I don't know what leaked originally. What the timeline was. His apology might have been shit, but I don't think that matters. Like he one hundred percent. It wasn't an apology. No, no, no. The point is that it wasn't an apology. Sure, it might he not have been, apology. but he's never getting into Harvard with that. With those leaks, publicly. He's not getting into Harvard. I, okay, he's not getting into Harvard. I don't. He, because they had a. They had asked him for a formal explanation, and you know, uh, follow up prior to tell, prior to rescinding his application. They, they had sent him the, the the letter stating that they had received these chat logs, that they would, had been made aware of them, that the admissions department did. Okay. And for a formal follow-up within the next 72 hours. I uh, thought he formal... said he tried to follow up with, like, two different departments, and nobody did. They just told him that he's not no, allowed he followed up with them and he sent, No, he followed up with them, and he sent them the letter, and, they, and then they sent him back that they had rescinded his application. Yeah. What he what he tried to do after that was follow up with them and ask if there was any way that he could meet face to face and find a path. That was forward. that was after they had already like refused to deal with it. That was after he'd already written. That was after he'd already, yeah. That was this was after. So he wrote he wrote the diversity board or whatever, like seeing if there's anything he could do to like make the situation right or whatever. But they didn't. Well, they actually responded and said that they were looking forward to meeting him. But that that's because the main admission had already like rejected him by the time he got that letter. Yeah, I think at that point that's. I think that's what happened. It's hard to keep track in my head of which department got what letters when. Comments. But I, yeah, but I still don't think this like is very relevant. I just, I just the idea that like um, uh, the idea that like we're judged like on our chat logs is just just really really fucking scary to me. And to see everybody champion like some literal 1984 shit because it happened to a conservative, it just feels really fucking gross to me. I don't. Know. I don't. Think this is 1984 shit. We're not talking about thought crime. We're talking about words he chose to use. Um. So one of the big themes of 1984 was that like somebody was watching you at all times. That the government always knew what you were saying, or that people always knew what was going on. That you could never like have a private conversation. This is like in that vein for sure. The idea that like a conversation that I have between friends is all of a sudden brought up to an admissions board, and now I can't get into college. I would say that's fair grounds for saying that's 1984 shit. It's about as close. Yeah, okay. As that's it was kind of a mischaracterization of what the conversation was because it wasn't just a conversation between friends it was a conversation between a class study group there were people in here specifically there was a person the person who leaked the chat logs was someone who was not friends with him but was in the same study group yeah sure but it's still like one of those things where it's like the the, the nature of our conversations today like we can say like today oh well actually it's in a recorded study group blah 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 but well, that's just uh, like that's just the beast of the technology today like you know like 20 years ago it would have just been a study group where people are just talking where there's not gonna be like a permanent record of everything you've had a conversation for i imagine it would have been reported if you were sitting in a fucking room in, a st in an officially like sanctioned school study group wait the then why did nobody public? report then why did nobody report this until he got big on the news and he got an accepted to harvard it's a fucking chat log. You don't have to face up to it in in, in the same in the same vein. You don't. Yeah, have but to you face just made it sound like somebody definitely would have reported it before. But it sounds like here it wasn't reported. If, it, if he had been in the room and he had been just shouting the n word, yeah. I mean, well, this, but this I isn't him in the room shouting it. It sounded like it was in like some fucking Google Doc or whatever shared between people that were working on a project or some shit. Uh, so was, yeah, that's 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 what this was. What I'm saying is, if 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 we're talking about because what you brought up was you know back prior to this technology, it would have just been like people actually sitting around in the circle discussing the project. Uh, wh what I'm saying is that the equivalent there is him sitting in that you know sitting with the the study group, casually shouting the n word. 
uh, I think at that point, yeah, someone probably would have reported him to the school. I mean, did, I think the pr conversation is public enough. He's not keeping that conversation to, he wasn't, he wasn't at the time keeping that conversation just between close friends that he knew would be okay with that kind of language. It was in... How, how many people had access to this document? I don't know if anyone's stated that yet. Let's see if chat knows. Chat, do you guys know? No one knows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. Holding changes kind of over the political beliefs, pretty cringe me. Penny people said I'm shit from your Twitter. Yeah, the idea that you go through and you mine somebody's shit. I've I, like I've said before, like if you if like if somebody does something, like if you get like thrown out of school for like a fucking hate crime or some shit, or you've got like a criminal record for like hate graffiti or some shit, I think that's fair game for somebody to judge you on. But somebody digging through like your chat logs or somebody like bringing up like a document like that, I don't know, it feels really shitty. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. What were you saying? I was funny something chat. I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, okay. Uh, I was just gonna bring. I was. I think I was just gonna bring it back to that point position. But yeah, in general, I'm. I i do not know. I, I think I might agree with you if this were anything else. If we were like just sharing like unpopular views or shit. But he was uh, cutting racial slurs to be edgy, and I, I get that. Like when you're a teenager, you want to be edgy, but that's. It doesn't seem like a super high because it's not. It wasn't just that chat log. There were also other chat logs. I think there were like, two different screenshots that I saw leaked. Are you familiar with anything else that got leaked? I think I saw three because I saw one text conversation where he was talking about somebody who was like a, a what was like a preppy Jew or something, and he talked about like making Jews as slaves and a different one. So his apology initially was, I've recently been made aware of screenshots circulating that include offensive comments former classmates and I made a few years ago, long before the shooting. I want to address this with honesty and transparency. We were 16-year-olds making idiotic comments using callous and inflammatory language in an effort to be as extreme and shocking as possible. I'm embarrassed by it, but I want to be clear that the comments I made are not indicative of who I am or who I've become in the years since. The past year has forced me to return grow in an incredibly drastic way. My word, like everyone else in Parkland, was or my world was turned upside down on February 14th when your classmates, your teachers, your neighbors are killed or transformed you as a human being. I see the world through different eyes and I'm embarrassed by the petty flippant kid represented in the screenshots i believe um those i've gotten to know since then uh know that i'm a better person than that i mean this seems like an okay apology what, what, else, hey, what did you so, need no, no 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 hold on this is the one i told you like characterized this is not an apology he never never in this does he apologize that that's the first thing to note the second thing to note How, is what do you mean he never apologizes i was making idiotic comments using callous and inflammatory language in an effort to be extreme as shocking as possible i'm embarrassed by it but i want to be clear it's not indicative who i am today what was he supposed to say? Uh, I'm sorry to all Jewish and black people, or I think, what? If, if to characterize something as an apology, I think you actually need to apologize. Yes, to who? I, what does he I, say? I, I'm I, sorry, I, all blacks and Jews. No, I apologize. Okay, I mean, this is the. It's like you're being a little obtuse about this. No, because this wasn't it, even directed it, it, at anybody. Wait, who is he supposed to apologize? It's not like he like did something to somebody. These were chats, log, like what? I'm sorry to everyone that saw the screenshots that got offended, or I apologize to anyone I offended. This is a fairly standard line that happens when shit like this happens. Okay, I guess this sounds honest, insanely. Like, pe this sounds that... like insanely petty to me, but I mean, I guess. I, I don't I don't know if expecting someone to actually apologize when they pretend they're apologizing. Well, I mean, like, this is an apology. You're just, you're upset because you don't see the words like, I'm sorry to X. Like, I mean, like, this is a condemnation of his that, previous I actions. I be directed at anyone for it to be an apology. What I'm saying is that he never really shows any regret for the actions, no, just sort of regret that, like... He literally says, I'm embarrassed by it. He says that twice. Okay. I'm embarrassed he by the petty embarrassed. flippant kid represented in those screenshots. Huh. Then he follows it up by saying that, like, well, I, you know, I don't even, I don't even need to tell you that obviously I'm better. Everyone knows that I've gotten better, and 16 year olds are stupid. He also never characterizes the shit he says as racist, just inflammatory and callous. But, uh, okay, yeah, I got it. All right, I do you have anything else? I mean, like, we're playing, like, these are, like, such, like, insane fucking word games. Like, he need, like, no. uh, like, well, he didn't say it was hateful. He said it was idiotic oh. comments. He's in callous and inflammatory language. Well, he didn't say racist. Like, uh, I, okay. On. I mean, like, it's like, at least acknowledge like, it. he didn't follow, like, the exact, like, SJW, like, apology approved template. Not like, I don't know, not. like... <laughs> Come on, that's not what I'm saying. What that's I'm what saying you're saying. Like he, like he said, he was using idiot. He said made idiot comments using callous and inflammatory language. Um, but because he didn't say racist or hateful, like it doesn't count as an apology. I don't think he's acknowledging the actual weight of the shit that he said. 
like it so... because I don't think I don't think he quite sees it. <laughs> okay. That's kind of, that that's my position is that his response. I, I'd be like been... I'd be more willing to agree if he'd actually like said something to another person or like attacked another person. But it sounds like these were like dumb fucking comments that he wrote in a word document. Like I don't know this idea like he needs to what apologize the... to the world for like his I don't know. It sounds so so silly to me. I'm not saying he needs to apologize to the world. I'm saying that the, I mean there is there. Wait, is wait, wait, hold on. You are though, right? No. Who does he need to apologize to? I, I think a simple sort of undirected apology. Of, what is like, an undirected apology to? That's an apology to the world because he's not. He didn't uh, offend any particular person. You wanted to apologize to the world. Want to apologize? Yeah, yeah. Anyone who was offended by the comments, I mean, which is I'm the world. <laughs> that's a fairly standard like line. When people have to apologize for stupid comments that they've made. Okay. Like I, I don't really know what else to say about that. I mean, it's. it's I wonder if I've ever so have I. Does anyone know if I've ever apologized for anything I said? Now I'm not sure if I've written mine correctly. <laughs> I don't actually know. I don't know if I said I'm sorry to the world either. Fuck. I might be. I, I might have fucked a, myself. Well, I would take a sans. I would take a sans line on this, which is that you've actually worked toward. You've acknowledged that the things you said are stupid. And you've actually worked towards the opposite end of what you used to. Yeah, work but maybe towards. this kid has too. That's what he says when he says, "Well, people that have known me since then would know that Certainly I'm not." Certainly because he was working for Turning Points USA. Okay. Which, what is that one again? Is that the Charlie Kirk thing? The Charlie, that's the Charlie Kirk one, yeah. So it's literally everybody that works for that is racism, or? Oh, okay, first of all, they do have a, they have, have had a problem that's very famous and widely known is they keep having to fire people because they're, like, too overt about their racism. The second thing is that there, there's, like, internal memos leaked that, like, uh, staffers have to harp on Jewish shit for no reason. Basically told that, like, Listen, you can talk about Jews, but don't, like, do it for no reason. It's like internal memos that got leaked where they're, they're trying to tell everyone in the company that, like, I know that you guys are, like, super racist, but don't be too obvious about it. Gotcha. Okay. Important to USA is actually, yeah, and, 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 like, it's not just, like, standard conservatism. They're, like, an incredibly racist organization. I don't know. I mean, that's all. That's really all I had to talk about. I, I think we we have slightly different perspectives on this. I I just think that it's probably we're gonna have to adapt to. Like I know that kids say stupid shit, but I think you can handle it a lot better than he did. Gotcha. If if you handle it a lot better than he did, you're not gonna face the same kind of backlash. No. Oh no 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 no. That's totally wrong. He was never getting into Harvard after these went public. You have to realize. I don't know. I mean, it's, 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 you it's think surprised. there is some apology you could have written to get through saying like kill all Jews? <laughs> to... <laughs> I I don't know. No, that he was never right. getting I, in. I also think that most sixteen year olds are probably smart enough to know that they shouldn't say that even in private. I, I was dumb when I was 16. I wasn't that fucking dumb. Were you a gamer, though? Did you play online games? I was a, yeah, I was a fucking gamer when I was 16. What did you play? Uh, I played... Jesus, back then. I played, well, I, that was actually just when League was getting... Wait, you said you're 26? Why not I'm apologize no, actually, to the classmates? League, wait, yeah, yeah. League, League released what? Fucking... 20, 2007? 2008? Okay. Destiny schools yeah, was, have yeah. been mining I mean, social I, media I got on for years. Much ground floor Every Ivy school applicant like, yeah, grad, league, professional well school bit, applicant knows this. Because I was 16, didn't have any goddamn money. Gotcha. Okay. I was all up in the gamer shit. I never used gamer words because, like, I, I was just never into that shit. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, hey, I appreciate your perspective, buddy. I mean, thanks for having me on. Yep. It's, it's Bye. Cool, to, cool to talk to you, man. I would like to formally apologize for the bad words I said in the past to everybody that I hurt and offended, okay? Because I don't know if I've ever done that before. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. And I, and I apologize. Wait, did I apologize? I said I apologize, right? <sighs> Finally, I can go to Harvard now. Thank fucking God. Also, why the fuck are you telling this motherfucker that you have shit in the car? Fuck this guy.